Hey guys, so this is my recap video for Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference event and all the things that were announced. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the software updates. My other video in the description discusses the changes to the computer line, so go and check that out if you'd like. So first off, as expected, Apple announced iOS 6. However, it is only available on the iPhone 3G and up and the iPad 2 and the new iPad. It's also available on the iPod 4. It's coming in spring if you're Australian or fall if you're American. Once again, as expected, Google Maps has been dumped and I'm very happy about this. We will now have turn-by-turn -turn directions, 3D maps and a much easier to use interface which was created by Apple themselves. With iOS 6, Siri understands more languages, works in more countries and is available on the new iPad. So that's really good for you guys out there that have the new iPad. I can now show you things such as movie reviews, more local businesses, flight trackers, and can now even open your apps for you. Facebook will be fully integrated into iOS 6 just like Twitter was previously. So now you can do everything now you can do everything on Facebook easily such as post photos or videos right from your photo app. Another exciting thing is there's a new app called Passbook which will hold all of your boarding passes movie tickets, retail coupons, loyalty cards, and much, much more. And the last feature I'm going to discuss is FaceTime is now available through cellular networks, so over 3G, which is really good because previously you've had to be around Wi-Fi to be able to use FaceTime. Now, that's just some of the features of the new operating system, iOS 6. There were over 200 new features announced, so obviously I'm not going to go through them all. If you'd like to see them, you can go to Apple's website and they will have a list of the most important ones there. Now moving on to OzX Lion, iMessage will now be usable on your Mac, which is really cool because, you know, now you can use your iPad, your Mac, or your phone to message people. That's pretty awesome if they have iMessage, that is. You will also now have the notification center on your Mac, which is great, keeps everything synced, everything working well, so you can really organize yourself by using that. It will also feature the reminders and notes apps and full syncing to your Mac from your iPhone or iPad. This update will include dictation, just like on the iPhone 4S, and a really cool new feature called Power Nap, which updates your MacBook while it is in sleep mode, which is really cool because there's a hassle to have to do it when you turn on your computer. So I think that's really awesome. Once again, there are just a few of the new features of OzX Lion, which is coming next month and will start at 20 US dollars for all your Macs. For a list of the features that OzX Lion would include, I would suggest you go to the Apple website once again and check them all out. I hope you guys found this video insightful. I'm sure I forgot some things and I'm sorry if I did. Leave them in the comment. Also, leave me a comment telling me what you're excited about from this new operating system. I know I'm excited for everything that was announced at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. Obviously, I would have liked an announcement of the iPhone 5, but that's okay. I think we got quite a bit of new information, so that's really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this a like. Uh, subscribe for more tech videos in the future, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.